sharing many of the original Jeep styling cues, the modern Wrangler is still one of the most capable out-of-the-box 4x4s money can buy. Sahara can really go just about anywhere. The 2.8 liter VM Motori turbo diesel engine delivers a handy 147 kilowatts of power and 460 newton meters of torque at just 1,600 RPM. It sends the power in default mode to the rear wheels via a five-speed automatic gearbox, which is not exactly a shining example of cutting-edge technology, but it does a very effective job nonetheless. On the inside, the Jeep's back-to-its-roots design is very evident. What with a near vertical windscreen and some other compromises in the ergonomics department. Our test unit was kitted with the optional leather trim. I have to say that the cabin is surprisingly classy and upmarket for such a capable 4x4 machine. Inexplicably, there are eccentric quirks too, like the doors that are hinged on what looks like camping canvas-like material and the electric window winding buttons located in the center console where you least expect them. And lastly, the removable roof contraption is cool and all, but you'll probably only embark on such an adventure once in the blue moon. It's not a user-friendly or simple system at all. It's time to get iconic with the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited 2.8 CRD and hear what our judges have to say about its towing prowess. Over to the judges. Right, the Jeep, very interesting. Um, you can feel that's built for off-road uh, from the suspension wise. Um, and long wheelbase, short overhang, definitely gives you the best stability uh, on the road, especially through the bumps. Uh, you might overcook it a bit on, on, on smooth highways, and then you tend to get a sway from 110 to 120 k's. Unfortunately, the, the pot falls apart a little bit when, when you go at higher speeds on a bumpy road, and there's, there's a significant amount of sway. So uh, that's, that wouldn't make it first on my list as a towing vehicle. Um, I must say I particularly liked uh, the, the sort of view that you get from, from inside the car. You get this sort of like almost uh, 360 view, which uh, makes uh, placing the car and obviously checking for the caravan that much easier. Uh, look, the Jeep is wafty, but we all know it's wafty without a caravan. It's a characteristic of the suspension and the off-road bias. It's always going to wallow about on the open road a bit, so it makes you work quite hard. But the caravan has barely an effect on the vehicle. It's built for towing this kind of uh, mass behind it, even, even heavier caravans than this. So in that regard, it's great. The power delivery is great, but especially the torque. The engine delivers the torque the moment you put your foot down. So it's not going to win any speed contests, but it's great for going over hills and long distance and that kind of thing. You're not going to feel the caravan behind you. So if you're looking for a capable off-roader that you can also carry, you know, pull a caravan behind you, it is the best value out of the box um, 4x4 that you can get.